My name's Joe Vaughan. Uh, we have a vineyard here at 100 Hunt. Uh, the grapes grown here are sold to some local wineries, some larger wine companies, and are made into premium wines, which are sold all over Australia. Over the years, the property has been improved, I think, by the vineyard itself, by vineyard practices, by tree planting, by uh, trying to promote diversity in our, on our vineyard site and the surrounds. The things we do here at 100 Hunts is not so much about sustainability, which is keeping things on a level, but I think more about regenerating. So we're trying to regenerate the soil and improve the soil, the vines, and in turn the grapes. My inspiration with farming is to look after our very thin layer of soil that we have on the planet and revitalise that if we possibly can. I mean, we all rely on that very thin layer. One of, I think, the important things we do here is composting. We compost what would normally be thrown away as waste. So we're using grape mark, we're using recycled green waste, we're using stable manure, and we're turning that waste into a valuable resource, which is the compost. We use mulch, recycled green waste as undivine mulch, band spread under the rows. It's a uh, has an insulating effect on the vines. It also promotes life in the soil. And we've planted a narrow strip down the, down the mid row in which we've sowed flowering plants. All those plants are really for insects to provide a home for beneficial insect. They provide ground cover and they provide diversity, which is, I think, a key to the regen ag principles. Our aim is to have the correct nutrition for the soil and the vines. There's no other crop that it's more obvious in than grapes because people analyse the flavour and the colour and the aromas and with the correct nutrition, we can make great wine. We've been taking soil carbon core samples down to 1.2 metres on the areas that are mulched, on the control areas that are unmulched and also on the headlands without the vineyard. Being involved in measuring the soil carbon gives us a, I suppose, an answer to the things we're doing. I mean, are we making a difference or are we not? and we find that we are making a difference. This year we won the Alan Ancliffe Viticultural Award, which was a great honour. I think that the Alan Ancliffe Award is an award for everybody. It's also a call to improve, to regenerate, to redefine what we do. It's not difficult, I don't think. I think everybody can do it. And the benefits are enormous to our soils, water holding capacity, nutrient holding capacity, soil life, which in turn benefits whatever crops we are growing. It's better for the soil, better for the grapes, and in turn, better for the wine, more flavourful, delicious wine from the Mornington Peninsula. <laughs> Sustainable Wine Growers Australia is a program run out of Adelaide through the Australian Wine Research Institute. We've adopted it here on the Mornington Peninsula and really encouraging our wine growers to, to consider it. Um, it's got a brilliant program that runs through sustainability, not only in a viticultural and um, a soil health sense, um, but there are also enormous benefits for social um, cohesion and sharing of information. So sustainable environment as well as sustainable community is, is really part of the program.